Hey guys, this is Cubition. Uh, this is a troubleshooting tutorial. Over the course of the past couple months, I, while well, I haven't been making tutorials, I have been trying, doing my best to respond to comments on YouTube and whatnot. Um, a lot of the comments are, are uh, support. They're wanting help <laughs> with their technical issues, um, and. Most of the time, it's the same two problems, and they all have, and both of them have solutions. So I figured I'd just make a video so people can not have to wait for me to respond to their comment to say the same thing that I've said to 50 other people. So um, here's this video. So the two main problems that people have been talking about are no audio or crackling and distorted audio. So the no audio problem comes from this. If it isn't on SDL, it's and that's probably your problem. SDL is what you want to use if it's available, but you never want to use dummy. A lot of the time, it, LMMS will just set itself on dummy when you first install it, and there will be no sound. you got to change that. SDL. If you can use SDL, use it. It is pretty much the best thing that you can get out of LMS as far as an audio interface. So <laughs> you know you don't have to type anything here either. Just just use SDL, select it like that, and that will probably solve your no sound problem. Now the stored and crackling audio is generally caused by the buffer size being small. Now Smaller is better when it comes to buffer size, but if it's too small, your computer won't be able to handle it, and it will create the distorted crackling audio that you get. You want to have it as low as you can while still having usable audio. This uh, new laptop I got is is uh, pretty decent, and so it can handle it at about 256 frames. Um, it goes all the way up to this gargantuan um, uh, number. Um, the reason you want it as small as you can get it is because... Uh, the higher it is, the more latency it has, which is basically slang for delay between what you hear and what you see. So if I play a note, I'll hear it 5.8 milliseconds later with my buffer size of small. If I have it all the way up here, it'll be like like almost that's like uh, almost half a second <laughs> before I hear the note that I just played. So if you're doing like stuff with MIDI and MIDI keyboards, you really got to have it low. Because if it's above like the 30 millisecond range, it'll make it really hard to play whatever you're playing because there'll be a delay and it'll mess up your timing and you'll have a really hard time with that. So um, this like resets it, I guess, to what LMS thinks your computer can handle. And a lot of the times it's wrong, and that's why you get the distorted or crackling audio. So basically, if you're having distorted crackling audio, just turn this up slowly until it gets to a point where you're not having any sort of audio artifacts. So that should fix... Those two things should fix pretty much any problem you have in LMS. Um, there has been the odd case of every time somebody opens up LMS, it just reverts back to dummy. I've actually had that happen to me before. Um, I don't really remember how I fixed it. I think I just reinstalled the LMS like 20 times and then restarted the computer. I've, I just just restart your computer and reinstall LMS if it does that. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know, maybe you should use a different computer. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, the only time that ever happened to me is when I was using a laptop with Windows XP. I was trying to install it for a friend. and he had this old laptop and it did not work. Um, so don't use Windows XP. <laughs> you should probably get a newer computer if you're trying to make music. Um, but basically, yeah, just use SDL and increase your buffer size until it works. And that should fix pretty much any audio problem you have. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Um, remember, like and subscribe. Uh, comment it for uh, tutorial requests. I try to do all the tutorials people ask me to do, um, as long as I know how to do them. So, yeah, I will 
I will do some tutorials in the future. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you later.